Hello my people, happy new year. So if you are new to this channel, my name is Agnes and you're very welcome. We are kicking off 2024 with this turtleneck sweater that I love so much. I love the stitch. It just looks like it's not crochet. It looks like knit, right? And I love this color. I just love everything about this sweater. It's so cozy. It's so soft. It's just perfect and i'll be showing you how to recreate it in any size that you wish of course you can make it adjustments you can make it shorter or like a short sweater or you can make it even longer you can make the neckline a little bit shorter if you don't want a tattoo neck and it's definitely up to you it's very easy to adjust and i will show you how to do that so let's begin uh for the materials i'm using this yarn it's called durable dare each skein is 100 grams and 99 meters. I use 9.5 of skeins and it is size 5. You can also use chunky yarn. It's anti-peeling yarn acrylic uh, with a little bit of polyamide. Uh, yeah, uh, this was gifted to me by uh, Durable Yarns and you can find them at durableyarns.com if in case you want to uh, get the same yarn or ask them questions. And yeah. The yarn is really very soft, very cozy, and it just feels nice on the skin. It's anti-peeling, and it's just great yarn. Really, I like it. Um, this beautiful color that I'm using is called Rose Blush, all right? It recommends a, a 6 to 7 millimeter hook, but I am going to be using a 6 millimeter hook for this tutorial. You can use the same, or if you have a 6.5 or a 7, you can still do that. If you like tighter stitches, of course, you can go a hook size lower. You will need a tape measure and also scissors, so let's start. We are going to start with the foundation chain and this foundation chain is the length of our dress. So take your measurements from the top of your shoulder till where you want your dress, dress to reach and that will be the length that we will make. So make a slip knot and then you are going to make a chain that is equivalent to the length that you want. All right, take your tape measure, top of your shoulder, all the way down to where you want your dress to reach okay and we are not using tight stitches so don't make your chain tight all right so i am going to make uh, my length and i want to make 23 inches and then i'll come back to you so as you can see this is what we are making this length here all right, so I did my 23 inches. So if you want it as a, as a short sweater, you can also, you know, make up to you. I don't know, waist or whatever, it's up to you. Or you can make it a longer dress. This depends on what you like. So I'll be making 23 inches long. This right down here is the ribbing below is what we are going to start with and then we continue with the body so for the ribbing below i'm only doing six stitches of ribbing you can do more or you can do less depending on what you prefer so skip this very first chain here and we are going to work single crochet so i'll go in and make one single crochet go into the next chain make a single crochet go into the next chain make my third single crochet fourth single crochet fifth single crochet seventh single crochet or oh, sixth sorry <laughs> i'm making six single crochets but this is because i'm using chunky yarn and it's about uh almost 2.8 inches all right so you can make it longer or shorter depend so it can be 10 in stitches it can be five it can be whatever you like okay so now is the main body stitch so you we will be yarning over okay and then i'll go into this very next stitch pull through it's not a half double crochet people it's more like a slip stitch so i asked people on my on my instagram what they call this stitch and people had so many names for it but as for me i'll just call it the yarn over slip stitch or the half double crochet slip stitch okay it is 
yarn over like you're making a half double crochet insert your hook pull through and then pull through two loops so a half double crochet you'd pull through three loops but you see we are pulling through like a slip stitch so it's a yarn over slip stitch that's what i will call it all right so we are going to be yarning over and then slip stitching all the way to the end. And if you want this stitch to be easy for you, because it can be a little bit hard if you make your stitches tight. So do not make your stitches tight. Like any other slip stitch, it is easier when your stitches are a bit loose. All right. So we will do the yarn over slip stitch all the way to the top. So you see how i put my hand there to you know kind of this is how you do a half double crochet but we don't do it so you just slip stitch like that so yarn over insert your hook pull through pull through all like that all right till the end so i'm coming to the end and once i get to the end this is now the top at the top the shoulder of our sweater so i chain one turn my work and we do not work in that chain that we chained it's just a turning chain all right we are going to be working only in the back loop you see these v's here instead of working in the two loops we will only be working in the back loop so you skip this first one this chain here and go into this very first stitch right here only in the back loop yarn over and then slip stitch so if you want it to be easier you see how i put my hand before i slip stitch just to give it some i don't know it makes it easier so you yarn over insert your hook pull through put your hand there just to give it some push I, I don't know maybe you might find another way that is easier but when I put my finger there my thumb it makes it easier to just pull through those two loops all right so we are yarning over and slip stitching in the back loop only and it gives those that neat effect a half double crochet in the back loop would look different than this this gives you that look that looks like a, like a a knit and it's yeah makes it gorgeous so uh you are going to continue doing doing the slips the yarn of a slip stitch until you get to where we have our six single crochets and i will meet you there because we need to change something all right i have one one two three four five six seven so i need to do the slip stitch here a yarn of a slip stitch and now this six we did single crochet as well going up so when we are going down we are going to do slip stitches we don't do single crochets but we do slip stitches all right so you slip stitch like this and this is not a yarn of a slip stitch this is a normal slip stitch so insert your hook pull through insert your hook pull through insert your hook pull through and until I, I get to the end i will have a total of six slip stitches so we do slip stitches when going down this is my last one this is my sixth slip stitch and then chain one turn my work we do not work in that chains so we are going to work uh, single crochets in the back loop. So leave this alone. This is the first stitch here. We work single crochets. Like I said, when we are going up, we work single crochets. When we are coming down to the bottom, we work slip stitches. So that's four, five, and six. All right, so I have my six single crochets now we start on our yarn over slip stitch always count your stitches so that you're sure so yarn over slip stitch like i said put that thumb on it to make your work easier all right yarn over 
pull through. Yeah, no va insert your hook, pull through. Yeah, no va insert your hook, pull through. Put that thumb on that stitch and then it makes your work easier. All right, so you are going to do this until you get to the top and I will meet you there so that we can turn. So at the bottom will be the ribbing, which is those six stitches and then up is just the same thing. All right. This is the right side and this is how the wrong side looks like. It's, it looks a bit different. All right. So I'll meet you here. I'm coming to the end and please make sure you are working in every stitch. Don't increase stitches. Don't reduce stitches. This is going to be my last stitch. You can see that last V there. Sometimes it's hard to see, but it is there. So make sure you work your last stitch in there. Then chain one, turn our work and we are going to go downwards. Same thing. We are working the yarn over slip stitches. Skip this chain and this is your first stitch here. Yarn over, slip stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, slip stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, slip stitch. And basically you're just going to repeat this and I'll see you where we have the six stitches for the ribbing. So when we go down, we do the slip stitches, the six slip stitches, no more slip stitches, right? So I'll see you on that part. All right, so I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I work two more. Yarn over slip stitches. And then I have six stitches remaining. And then I just work my normal slip stitch. So I just insert my hook, pull through. Insert my hook, pull through. It's important that you don't tighten your work. Make your stitches loose. Otherwise, your work will be not so nice. And keep your tension, you know, you can't make tight on this row and then the next row you're making loose. It has to be a bit uniform. So chain one, turn your work. And now what do we do? We work single crochets in the back loop. Six single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the other part, we are working yarn over slip stitches. So yarn over, slip stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, slip stitch. All right, so this is basically our pattern. And we need to work this until we have, we get to the point where we leave our neck line. All right, but I will give you the measurements for that. So I do i'm doing an extra small stroke small so i'll be giving you the measurements for this and the measurements for the other sizes so that you know you know how many inches you need to do okay so i'm doing an extra small that means i will do 10 inches first and then i'll do five inches for the neckline and then 10 inches again but that's the same number of rows as the first one. So I will meet you when I have 10 inches. Okay. So this is me. I have 10 inches. You, This is an extra small stroke, stroke small. So just look at the chart and see how many inches you need to do. So when I measure here at the top, I have 10 inches. So if you're doing an extra small or a, a small, then you will need to do 10 inches. And then we'll do now the neckline which for the extra small, small will be five inches. I included also on the chart for what you, how many inches you need for the other sizes. All right. So for the neckline, we are going to take away 2.5 inches down. So for me, that is about five stitches only. If you're using a smaller yarn, of course, it will be more stitches, but the measurements always stay the same. So we are all taking off 2.5 inches of stitches. All right, so 
and you will do this from when you're working from down to top all right it's important that you so you just um chain one then you are just going to go ahead and do your row like you normally do but instead of going all the way to the top we leave 2.5 inches off all right all of us we are leaving 2.5 inches at the top all right so i will go all the way up and then when i have my five stitches left which is an equivalent of 2.5 uh inches i will meet you okay so i'm all the way up and i have my five stitches left let's see one two three four five so now instead of going all the way up we leave that 2.5 inches on then chain one and turn our work it's just the same pattern we are only not working in the last stitches okay so I'll just continue with a yarn of a slip stitch. Yeah. So, yarn of a slip stitch, and I'll go all the way down until where I have to do the ribbing, which is the six uh, slip stitches. And then, once I have that, then do that, then come back up, and basically the same thing. Uh, yeah only so you will just continue doing the same thing but only leave five inches for an extra small or small if you are doing another size check the chart see how many inches you need to leave this is how it will look like okay we are leaving this part for the neckline so this is five inches for extra small and small the rest is included okay so i did my five inches and now i want to go back to the same number of stitches that we had before okay so you will count how many rows you did on for your first now that will be the main how many rows you'll do so now you're going to chain six of course i left i left five stitches so i chained six so if you left i don't know nine stitches then you'll chain ten because we need that turning chain okay so I'll go now back down. So skip this chain because we need that turning chain and then make the yarn over slip stitch and I'll have a total number of yarn five yarn over slip stitches before I get to the part that I was working in before. All right, so now I just continue going down like this so basically this is it and now you continue with a pattern like before so the f doesn't have to be 10 stitches or i mean 10 inches for me on this side it has to be the exact number of rows that i had on the first part sometimes you might work your stitches maybe tighter and it's different but it should be the same number of rows all right so i am done with my panel I have this first part here, then I have the neckline and I have the other part that is very identical to the first one. Then you do two panels because we need the front panel and the back panel. And once you have two identical panels, all right, so you can count the stitches or the rows, the number of rows, and you know how many number of rows you have on the other side too. Then just then repeat the same thing. All right, and then I'll meet you when you have two panels so that we can join them, okay? So, you are going to arrange them like this. This is the wrong side that is facing up, and this is the right side that is facing. You can see the ribbing is quite different. So that's the right side, and this is the wrong side, and we want to join on the wrong side, okay? So just have the wrong sides, one facing up and the other one facing down. So I am going to join at the shoulder part using my hook. And I'll use slip stitches, but you can use your yarn needle if you like. So I will reattach my yarn and just work slip stitches across. 
very loosely because I don't want my work to, I can't find the English word for it. All right, so I'm working randomly, placing my slip stitches. So we are joining the front panel to the back panel. You can use any stitch that you like. Some people like to use the a single crochet or you can just sew it with your needle. Just join the two parts together. Doesn't really matter what method you use. It's okay. So I'll join all the way to this side. So this is how it looks on the right side. Okay. So I'll join this shoulder part here and then once I'm done, I'll do this other side. I already did it. <laughs> so do both sides, okay? So once you're done, it should look something like this. And I want, I want to work the turtle neck, okay? So for the turtle neck, I want to work it on the right side. So you can make this short if you like, but I wanted mine longer because it's winter, it's cold, okay? But you can have this short, so you'll have to do just like three stitches okay if you want it short so i will do uh, we are going to work uh, slip stitches around first so that we we have it all neat and clear so i'm going in with in every stitch with a slip stitch so we are working slip stitches around the neckline first and then we do the tattoo neck So just go in every stitch with a slip stitch, not very tight, please. Loosely, we are working loosely with everything today. Can you hear the rain? It's raining. It's 1 a.m. in the morning <laughs> when I'm editing this video. Doing a voiceover. I'm doing a voiceover. And it's raining. Sounds nice. Anyway, I digress. Just go around with slip stitches and I'll meet you here. All right, so I went all around and it looks neater. So I will just close this off with a slip stitch on top of the first one. You could even wear it like this, by the way, if you like. So the length of your neckline, neckline, I don't know, what, what do you call it? I'm so tired I can't find, so. I'm making mine long. You've seen how it looks. So you could want yours to be shorter, really. So I'm doing five inches. If you could do two inches, you could do three inches, or you could even do much longer so that you're able to fold it. But if you want to fold it, then I would advise you to do it not on the right side, but on the wrong side, so that when you fold it, the right side is out. Is Yeah, you know what I mean. So what we are going to do, I have five inches. So I'm going to chain one, which is my turning chain and go into this with single crochets. So we are doing this ribbing like we did at the bottom. So we are going down with single crochets. And then when we come up, it's slip stitches. Okay, so our first row is single crochets. Our second row will be slip stitches. Our third row, single crochets. Our fourth row, slip stitches, like that. We alternate, okay? So I'm just gonna go down. You could count your stitches so that you make sure you're not losing stitches because it's very likely that you could lose a stitch, okay? So the first number of stitches you start with should be the exact number on every row. So what, will, what I will do is I will go into this stitch here and I will work in the back loop and make a slip stitch and then go into the very next stitch and make my second slip stitch like this. Okay, and then I will turn my work and I will skip the first two slip stitches. 
okay? So, this stitch here and this stitch here, skip. And we are going to work, of course, slip stitches as we go down. So, slip stitch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 stitches so i'm working with 13 stitches so make sure you count your stitches all right so i will then chain one turn my work and now i'm going to work 13 single crochets we are working in the back loop only so turn my work and work my 13 single crochets that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen all right so now i need to join it so first slip stitch and then second slip stitch and then turn my work and go down so skip the first two slip stitches and into the third make a slip stitch so that's one two three Twelve and thirteen. Then chain one, turn my work, and then do single crochets. Thirteen single crochets. So you get the point. So you are just going to repeat this pattern until you come all the way around back to here. All right. I'll meet you there. So I went all the way around with the same pattern, and I'm left with one stitch. And I'll just work a slip stitch. And then join my work so I will join my work on the right side and I'll be slip stitching I will slip stitch in in every stitch so on this side it is one stitch and on the other side I will slip stitch in the first in the front loop uh, front loop <laughs> all right so i'm stitching i'm in the front loop like this so that it forms like kind of uh, same pattern all right so i will do all the way to the top and that will be it for the neckline and then we can move on to the sleeves All right, so this is how it looks like. It's not the most perfect, but it looks okay. So chain one, cut off your yarn. You'll sew in the ends later. And yeah, so neckline done, front panel done, back panel done. And now we are going to work on the sleeves. Okay, so let's do that. You are going to take the length of your sleeve. So measure from your biceps all the way to your calf area. And that will be the length of your sleeve. I am going to be doing 15 inches for mine. Okay, so you could make your sleeves longer or shorter. Depends on what you like. But measure from your biceps all the way to your calf. And 
this is 15 inches for me okay so this is the length of your sleeve i will give you the width of your sleeves but for the length it depends on what you like so skip the first it's going to be the same pattern just a little bit different on the cuff area so we are going to go in with slip stitches instead of single crochets remember with the other ribbing we're doing single crochets first but here we are doing slip stitches so the length of your cuff is also up to you i'll just do the same length so six stitches all right one two three four five six and now do the same pattern which is the yarn over slip stitch so yarn over slip stitch all the way to the top so it's the same pattern on that now instead of working the ribbing with the single crochet alternating with a slip stitch we are only doing slip stitch so i'm at the top chain one turn your work and we are working in the back loop so this is our first stitch because we are skipping that chain work okay so yarn over slip stitch in the back loop yarn over slip stitch yarn over slip stitch and i will do this until i get to where i have my six stitches left all right so i have one two three four five six seven so i need to do one more here and then do six slip stitches okay one two three four five and six chain one turn my work and then do six slip stitches so skip that chain and then it's the turning chain so work six slip stitches and then the yarn over slip stitches so basically it's this uh you're just going to go with the same pattern all over again until you have these measurements in width all right for me it's extra small and also small size so 17 inches so this is it and once i measure here at the top i have my 17 inches for my size so if you're making a bigger size go ahead and make more inches it's like 43 centimeters sorry not inches it's like 43 centimeters 17 inches all right so this is our sleeve you'll make two of these very identical sleeves identical i mean not in size because it can be like a half an inch lace or more but i mean the number of stitches and the number of rows all right so you will lay your sweater like this this is the wrong side and then you will lay your sleeve like this we now want to touch the sleeve so you're going to get the middle of your sleeve so i'll just like to count these rows from side to side and get until i get to the middle okay so find the middle of your sleeve and we are going to attach that to where we joined our two panels so um i've laid it like one panel on one side one other panel on the other side so i'll join this to the middle and here like this and then i'll stretch it a little bit so that it's straight and then i'll count stitches from the middle to one panel side and then count the same number of stitches on the other side and put stitch markers so that i have all both sides equal and not one 20 stitches and the other side maybe 18 so count your stitches they should be equal on both panels and then we are going to join and i'll be joining using slip stitches we are joining on the wrong side if you want you can join on the right side depends on how you want your sweater to look like but i'll be joining on the wrong side so that my seam is inside 
So I'm going to work slip stitch. Oh my goodness, I need to go to bed. I'm going to work slip stitches uh, all the way. And I'm working in the back back loop. So I will work all the way to the middle and all the way to the other side, uh, which could be the front side uh, panel. And then I'll meet you once I am done so that I can show you how to join the rest of the sleeve and the rest of the body. We are almost done. So. so go all the way to the middle and down this side. Okay. So I'm done and this is the wrong side and this is the right side. I turned it to the right side. So for this part of the joining, we are going to be joining on the right side. So turn your sweater like this. Make sure everything is aligned and get your yarn. And we are going to join the sleeve and the rest of the body. So start from here you can start from the sleeve or you can start from the other side of the of the dress at the bottom depends on you doesn't really matter so we are going to be working in every stitch with a slip stitch okay so i'm joining the front loop with the other side i'm working in the front loop okay so just slip stitch in every stitch all the way to where we have our underarm. And once we get to the underarm, we stitch, we slip stitch all the way to the bottom. And basically that's it. And then you do the same thing all over again for the other side with the sleeve and everything. And yeah, and then we'll be done, right? So just do that. And yeah looks like this on the right side okay so go all the way down here and arm and then down all the way down here and then do the same for the other side okay and once you're done your sweater should look something like this so i'm gonna go and try it on and let's see how it fits okay all right so this is what we have i like this sweater i love how it feels on the body i like the feet i like how it looks you would mistake it for a knitted sweater seriously i'm sure people will ask me like is that knit or crochet but yeah i like it and this color is just amazing i love how it looks so thank you so much for coming along with me and i hope you liked it i hope you recreate it if you do please tag me on social media it's ac crochet and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please do and share this video to your crochet friends you know you let them also try and make it so thank you so much i'll see you in my next tutorial leave me comments on what you like to see in the next project and i could do some of your suggestions thank you so much bye